The math strategy I'm going to explain is multiplication using the Russian method. With the Russian method, you have to use two columns. Each column, you're going to multiply your two numbers. The numbers that I want to multiply are 100 and 246. In order for the Russian method to work, you have to have the left column and you have to double the right column. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. Divided by 2 is 25. With this one divided by 2, I would get 12 and a half. Whenever you have a remainder, you just want to knock off, let go of the remainder. So I'm just going to use 12. And half is 6 and half is 3. And then I get one and a half, which again, I'm going to drop, so I'm going to leave it at one. Whenever you get to one, you stop. Moving on to the next column, I'm going to double 246, which would give me 492. Doubled would be 984. Doubled would be 1,968. Doubled would be 3,936. Doubled would be 7,872, and doubled would be 15,744. I've gotten to my one column, so I'm going to stop right there. Once I have all my numbers, I'm going to cross out all numbers that line up with the left column that are even. So 50 is an even number, so I'm going to cross everything out. 12 is an even number, so I'm going to cross everything out. 6 is an even number, so I'm going to cross that out. 3 and 1 are odd, as well as 25, so I'm going to leave those numbers. Now that I have 984, 7,872, and 15,744, I'm going to add those numbers using the traditional addition algorithm. So 984 plus 7,872 plus 15,744. That gives me 24,600. If you multiply 100 times 246, you will get 24,600.